residents of Bombo Town gathered early at Pakawelo Health Center 4 to hear the judgment of the general court marshal over a case that has spanned for over a month. At about 11 o'clock, Private Patrick Okot was brought before the general court marshal amid heavy deployment and put in the dock. The general court marshal did not waste any time. The chairman, Brigadier Fred Tolit, read out the guilty verdict of murder, attempted murder, aggravated robbery, and failure to protect war material. The Honorable Court, having analyzed and evaluated the entire evidence of both prosecution and defense, find the accused private of court, Patrick O'Dodge, guilty on one, on the ten counts of murder, two, on the three counts of attempted murder, three, on the one count of aggravated robbery, and four, on one count of failure to protect war material. The prosecution, led by Captain Frederick Kangwamu, asked court to give a court the maximum sentence on grounds that killing of 10 people was brutal and the sentence should deter others in the army from doing something similar. Defense lawyer Captain Nasser Drago, however, asked court to give a court a light sentence since he's a first-time offender with a family of three children that needs a father. The general court marshal ruled that it will deliver its sentence on the 4th of June next month. However, the postponement of the sentencing angered some. They say he have family. For us also, we have family. Our husband have family. For me, I have four children. Other they are in school. Other they are at home. All of them now, they are not studying because of this man. Ten people. Eh? Ten people who... He, he killed ten people. And of course, if... If you are killed, if, if they kill, if you, you kill, you also, you are supposed to be killed also. A court was taken away amid heavy deployment to prevent residents from attacking him, but that did not stop him from smiling. A court on the 8th of March this year shot dead 10 people, including five officers at a market bar in Bombo, where he's allegedly accused of defilement. He fled after the incident and was arrested after a 10-day manhunt in Oyam district. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.